what's up guys in this video i'm gonna teach you how to use buttons so buttons are a very common component that we use in every software i think there's no use to explain to you what a button is actually everything we see here is kind of a button this is a button and also the save open those are also buttons using a button is actually kind of a must when making a program especially when you are working with the user when you are dealing with the user's inputs a button can be defined as the most simple method to get user inputs so a button includes input from mouse and also it can be used everywhere from just confirming things and then playing with games so in this video i'm going to teach you the basics of using buttons and also in the next video i will teach you how to use this button and incorporate it with the text box to deal with use inputs very effectively let's get started so far we have this form which was designed in the previous video so if you haven't watched that video make sure you check that out so you can understand what we did to make this one definitely watch that video now what i'm going to do is just change this label and then i'm going to grab this button i'm going to re resize it and change text to click me and increase its size so what i'm going to do is uh, when a user clicks on this button the text here text right here the welcome text should change so that's somewhat a small code to do but it is going to teach you lots of things the, the basics of doing advanced things right so what i'm going to do is just double click on this button which will create the event handler an event handler is the function that is executed when an event is occurred so in this case when the button is clicked something has to happen so what i'm going to do is just double click on this button so it will create the default event handler also you can just click on this button and go to the properties window and click on this lightning bolt i don't know what you call it uh, this button and go to the events tab and then you can double click on the click event so under the event handler what you need to do is write some code i'll teach you everything so when we are working with windows forms application we have something called these uh, names of the components like when we in uh, when we add a button it generates a name to the button to identify it as a separate component a separate button from the other buttons for example if you create a variable you need to specify its name a specific name should be used when creating in a uh, variable two variables cannot be created with the same name so this is uh, this is the same thing we see here so buttons text boxes labels all of these stuff are objects so objects work the same way so if you don't know about objects just comment down so i'll try my best to make a video on that also you can find tons of a uh, ton of videos on youtube and also a ton of stuff on google if you can google something now i'm going to teach you how to change the text of that label let's again go to our form and as you can see the name of this button is under the design section you can see the name also you can see the name right here so the name of this label is label one by default when you whenever you add something it is going to name it label one label two label three and so and so so when uh, when you include another label it will be automatically named as label two now what you need to know is uh, the name of this label also you can change the name if you want from here we'll talk about those things in a, another video uh, so let's go again to the code and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to type the name of that label. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to access all the methods and data of this label. So to do this, we can just type this dash and this greater than sign. This will give us the access to data and methods of this object. So when you are dealing with objects, uh, you need to use this symbol. But when you are dealing with classes and stuff, you can use the double columns so when we uh, proceed in the series you will see how we use those things so you don't have to be messed up by now we'll teach you everything so for now just remember that whenever you are working with labels text boxes and those stuff you need to include this symbol right here the dash and the greater than sign as soon as we uh, insert this one we can access all the data and in, in, and information related to this label so what i'm going to do is type text so text is the property or the uh, or the data of this label so this is a public property of this label which can be changed by the code directly without calling functions so now what are, what we are going to do is assign something to to this text so whenever the, the user clicks on the button 
the text on the label should be changed so when the program starts the text on the label is welcome so when the button is clicked it should change to hello what you need to do is just type label one and type this symbol and then text which is uh, a property of this label one object and we are going to assign something by putting the equal mark and in, and in quotations you can include strings you also can include numbers symbols letters and everything in strings so let's try uh, this code by hitting the local windows debugger button so as you can see the form has started the text is filled so if i click on click me as you can see the label changed to hello but if i click it again it won't change actually this change into hello but we can't see any change because it is the same before and now that's how you change uh, the text of a label that's how you work with a button so this is how you create an event handler to work with a button and also this is how you can create pretty much everything with working with components like this buttons text boxes panels and such stuff also you can use the container this form itself to create event handlers we'll talk about that later so in the next video we will teach you how to use this button incorporated with the text box to get advanced user inputs from the keyboard so that you can perform calculations and such stuff later so thanks for watching this video make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get instant notifications also like this video if you did and also share this video with your friends and also leave a comment so i can know about your ideas so that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.